Zomboy, singer songwriter in Ireland. Hi, my name is Brian, singer, songwriter, advocate, <laughs> guitarist, <laughs> keyboardist, cool guy, cool guy, cool and I sing for Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Maureen, uh, singer, songwriter, vocalist, uh, team leader, <laughs> team building expert. Boobs. Uh, boobs, but that's not for the <laughs> <laughs> And yes, and this is Elani. <laughs> and this is Elani. And this is Elani. Um, I was a, uh, I'm a late bloomer, so that was very in, in high school. What is it high school? No, in campus. In campus, first year. Um, I was an early bird, and mine was in class seven. Hey. And let me just say, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't the best. Twelve, eleven. Oh, <laughs> look what I missed, <laughs> It wasn't the best, but I, I did it myself. Ah, I was also quite, quite the late bloomer, but it wasn't. I don't know. I don't know. I was very late in life. Yes, that's true. And it was very like a tiny little, very uncomfortable peck that I just I couldn't do it, man. I was like, mm -mm, what's happening? <laughs> Why is that so uncomfortable? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that was it. <laughs> now there, that's when the dynamics change. Ah, uh, his name was Moses. We were in pre-unit. <laughs> this is true, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. Unit. Unit. Plus it's Jamiri. Yeah. Where? <laughs> was uh, in class eight. She was called Polly. I think standard one. His name was Ian. He was my neighbor. We were boyfriend and girlfriend for a very long time. Like our parents knew we used to hold hands <laughs> and we'd go for like chaperoned movie dates. Like it was like the real yeah, deal. The yeah, standard one to like standard four. Oh. Had the same boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then in standard eight, they had a fight up over me. Ian and Lee. That's a long story <laughs> for another day. Mm. I actually drank without knowing. I was in class seven, class seven, I think. And I just drank some punch that I thought was just <laughs> Fanta, and uh, it was it was such a weird feeling. I can't even explain it, but I can't remember anything. I just, I drank a lot. <laughs> you know the way you you just had a shot to finish a, a glass a, a bottle of Fanta. That's I did that. That that's that's me. My first I was such a baby. It was a lesson. I was being taught a lesson. You know how parents like give you something to stop you from ever having it again so my dad gave me a sip of beer and i threw i think i was like eight or nine and i threw up for like the whole day one sip i threw up the whole day and since that day i have never drank beer i can't i don't like beer. i can't do beer <laughs> so dad good job <laughs> i learned my lesson my first drink was also when i was very young and uh, it's this chamas that our parents used to have, and uh, my my parents were clearly on one side, and my cousins and myself were on another side. And uh, my cousins at the time were uh, were old enough to have a drink, so I took a sip of of beer as well. And it's it was it's one of the most disgusting things I've ever tasted in my life. It tastes like expired water. Like if water was to expire. That is what it, it would taste like beer. It's so off and yeah. flat. Yeah. I don't understand it. I, I, I don't understand it. Yeah, that was my first. Let's just be real. Beer doesn't taste nice. No, Let's just be real. Yeah. Do you think beer tastes nice? Beer doesn't. I have no comment. That's my university, and I took um, ACCA. Uh, for me, I think it's only campus. <laughs> As in me, I've, I've never jumped campuses before. So. I've only been to Nairobi University, uh, Parklands campus, law school. My, <laughs> my, first, my first college was uh, the Alliance Francaise, uh, L'Alliance Francaise de Nairobi. Yeah. Bonjour. <laughs> Where I went and got, I had, oui, I, oui. I got a diploma in, in, in French. 
I would say we had a gig at um, at Nini at City Hall. Oh, we had a gig at oh. City Hall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We sucked like crazy. Back <laughs> the audience. We were really bad. No, we were quite bad. Like, the audience didn't now. think we sucked. So that's all. That's us. all that counts. Yeah. So <laughs> at the uh, at the end of the concert, we have this song called uh, Zuzu, which was the the last song of the night. And after we finished Zuzu like this, we got a standing ovation. Yeah, that was so cool. Yeah. Everybody I think that's the one. Yeah. So that kid gets to be you know my first car I bought the <laughs> Range Rover It's 5 <laughs> what? I talk about the biography. <laughs> no, okay, we're going to talk about Elani's first car. Yes. Elani's first car was was uh, borrowed. It was a, a a Toyota Corolla what? KN. KN. Oh, now it's gone. KN 180 S. Can just say it. <laughs> Toyota. Yeah, it was it was my mom's car and, and she lent it to Elani as like the Elani mobile. Hundred thousand views. Hundred thousand views. So many albums. The oh. day our album came out. <laughs> yeah. That might have been that might have been the, the best thing that, that ever happened. We went through so so many hardships to try and get there. And the night before at four in the morning we were in Brian's house packing that album one after the other one after the other just so that we can sell and then and we carried them ourselves because we don't have managers we don't have a team well now we have a team we didn't have one back then who could help us to to do these things that really you shouldn't be doing because you should be resting because you have the biggest concert of your life you know but we were carrying these things to Allianz and 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 making sure that the the tickets are there and the and everything is there and at some point um, our MC just told us, you know what, go backstage and just be just quiet shoot. and stop it. Like, just stop. So we stopped and, and we had this album launch and everything came together. And those albums, like, flew away. We're like, where are those boxes? We had so many boxes. Yeah. Where are all the albums? And and they sold and it was so amazing that this thing that we've been creating for so long finally was out. Two months ago. Two months, three months. Two months. From my mom. And she said, just cry and let it go. And she was talking about something in particular. But but since then, it's something that she's always said, but it, it finally like hit home that day. And, and it's very important to just let go of the things that are holding you down. And I think that's just what she was trying to say. There's something my dad told me. And till today, I think it applies. Um, in life, you'll always... Things might not always look rosy or the best for you at then, but you'll always have your chance. The coolest thing I've ever been told was, in everything that you do, make sure that you give it your all. Because it's the only way to not regret. And my mom told me that um, at some point when I was very, very low. I think it's the whole experience in general because every time we record it's always different. It's always different because it's a different song. It needs a different feel and a different understanding. So it's always different and this is what we love doing. This is what we are. So every moment is special. I would say Mimi just because of picking up Lupita and uh, making her one of her ambassadors. I cannot narrow it down because all designers have a different touch and mm. every single day I want to look a different way. Might be Michael Kors, only because those are some really crazy things. Pleasure and intuition. One favorite that I like is Kenneth Cole Black. I am in love with Still by Jello. Who is this? Yeah. You know yours, ah. but like, <laughs> we oh, you all know our boy's favorite musician yeah. is Beyonce. <laughs> that oh, if you like it, then it should have been a pair of Me, I'm always Tim Elani or only Tim Elani. Elani you, you're your old fan? Yes. Okay. Even Good me, I'm loyal old, like huh? that. But <laughs> this girl but, is loyal. Yeah, this girl, she be loyal. But, <laughs> but yeah, it's true. Beyonce is very impressionable. But we can't even name one person who mm. who inspires the music that we sing who's the one the one the one the one yeah there's i don't know <laughs> ah, yeah by davido that's the best song in the world the baddest
I don't have an answer unless I give him my top 100. <laughs> no one judge me. Okay. Okay. A song called I Surrender by Celine Dion. What? <laughs> now, we had this because you just said you wouldn't judge me. <laughs> Only because people generally think that Celine Dion is not a, a fantastic vocalist. But, wah! That song, for real, for real, for real, in that song, huh? it's something else. Yeah. I think Kaveke. Because people don't generally like to dress men, and him, he's like, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> gonna, you know? There is also Omri Mukenyi, my namesake. I know she didn't know me, but hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> what you're doing was popping. <laughs> But the the car that Walter White drove when he was now a badass on Breaking Bad, that car, it's a Chrysler something, SRT8 something. But that's the one, Walter White's car. Where? <laughs> that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> I like big but, cars. But even even a George Viper would not be bad. Yeah. For me. Okay. I know what Brian said. I don't know what the, what, what car that is. <laughs> but I was recently schooled. A bit, uh, and uh, three cars at the top of my list would be the first car I ever drove, which which is uh, the Land Rover Defender. I love that car. Me and my dad need to own that kind of same color. And then brand new, brand new. And nobody got time for nothing else but brand new. <laughs> uh, I'd like the Range Rover Autobiography. Very cool car. I've had very good things about it. And um, just to you know, just to shop around when I'm running errands. A Rolls Royce Phantom would be bad. Just <laughs> when you're yes. just... A Rolls Royce Phantom would be bad, you know. Just, 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 you know how the door opens <laughs> the other side and it's weird and then guys in the mall would think that my door is broken but then it's really not because I'm way cooler than them. <laughs> that. Elani. I'm yeah, living my me. dream job, man. Living dream. Yeah, I'm living dream my job. dream. Thank you, Jesus, that we are living our dream. This is it. This is it. But also, dream experience. Also, perhaps mm. performing at the Otto Arena. Maybe. Maybe. In, f- Maybe. in fact, Ooh. perhaps it's just the like Otto Arena. To look at Beyonce, say ni ni milf. Kelly Rowland is someone. That's some gender She's that I so can't even see. That's beautiful. something. She's something else. A man who's God fearing, very, very important. Um, a man who is, I'm a midget, so really, <laughs> considering my children, it would be best if the man is tall. Um, a man who can think, yes, a man who can think, a man who is God fearing, and uh, if, if you're tall, thanks. Plus five. Thank you, my boy, thank you. Hey, you're a midget. You were just telling my story. <laughs> I think I'll describe also instead of instead of, <laughs> instead of um, coming up with a name. I think that that guy, that dream guy, is like one boy said, is a God fearing man who is who is kind because kindness is very is it's underrated. People need to yeah, yeah, need yeah. to be kind. kind and and. Uh, you know, kind, loving, all those normal things, but a person who's driven. It doesn't matter what it is that you're, you're doing. You could be working in an office, you could be a musician, you could be an artist, you could be whatever, as long as you are driven. And that ambition is is something that... Yeah. Also that one is important. Yeah, you need to have that mind of, of forward thinking. I know, right? I you to have to be uh, forward thinking. Like one boy said, you need to have content and you need to be forward thinking. One of the saddest moments in life is when my sister went to boarding school and she left me all alone with my parents, man. Because your parents sad. are cool. Yeah, they're cool, but then, then they weren't cool. Now they're cool. It was when my parents actually got an accident and I didn't know when one person had died and I didn't know who had died. So that's it for me. That's the one. When I was very young, but... Um, my dad had been shot and he'd been, it was a carjacking and he'd been shot and, and, and we didn't know anything and of course we were too young for our, for, for our mom to explain everything and, and, and 
well he was fine a few days later of course but but yeah that must have been like it, there's nothing that compares to that to that yeah First of all, I haven't eaten fries in a very long time <laughs> and I love fries and it's killing me but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make for this band to be ready <laughs> for our future projects. See how I love you. Fries. I see. It's a big sacrifice, man. It is. What's up with Armad? Uh, <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. <laughs> yes. We have a Facebook page, Elani. We have a Twitter handle at Elani Muziki. We have SoundCloud. You can at listen to Elani our music Muziki. there. Instagram. Muziki. Instagram. At, at Elani, Elani Muziki. Tafadhali. <laughs> uh, Mo Maureen Kunga. Yes. Brand Choosy F Baby. Oh, Choosy Twitter. F. Maureen, oh. Maureen Kunga on Twitter. Choosy F Baby on Twitter. Choosy F. Choosy F. And mine is Choosy F on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> and one busy. And, and busy. One busy cheesy. No, this one busy. W. Yeah? Jehovah. What? W A M B. I Z Y. I can't do this. <laughs> we want to tell our people that we love them. Each and, and everyone. You. Each and every fan who's always supposed, supported Elani. Ni shukran. Tua shukuru sana. We love you for the support. We love you for the encouraging words. And uh, promise more to come your way. Yeah. Yes. We'll work hard so that we don't disappoint you guys.